Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect your PS3 controller up to your Windows machine so you can use it in the RPCS3 emulator. And let me show the controller right now. So you should be seeing a PS3 DualShock 3 controller. You can use the six axis, that is fine. And what you want to do is you need to make sure you have a mini USB cable. So let me fold this in. There we go. So one of these bad boys, and you can try and attempt to do the, the wireless route. And it is part of the driver tool set that will be installing. But you know, I've had a few issues with it, so I would recommend sticking to wired. So what you want to do? So like, if I plug this in, it'll start charging. The lights will start flashing. Like so. If I go to game controllers it doesn't appear here we want to make the playstation 3 controller essentially an xbox controller and that will get detected then so what you want to do is download something called scp toolkit i'll provide a link to in the description go to this github link just download whatever latest version there is download the exe i'm going to cancel it because i've already got it downloaded and next we need to install it so let's install it so you just open it up And you can install in the default location, leave everything else as it is. <coughs> it shouldn't take too long to install. Okay, so I think you've got a few icons, you can delete them if you don't want them on your desktop. Click run driver installer. And you can also run it from here or in the start menu. So what you want to do is deselect install Bluetooth driver. But if you do want to install Bluetooth and you want to try it, just click this drop down, select your Bluetooth device. You can get it from the device manager in terms of what exactly it is. It might be a bit confusing. Deselect that and make sure you got DualShock 3 selected. From here, we want to go to the PlayStation 3 controller. That's marked clearly, so that's good. This is automatically selected. If you're on an older version of Windows, make sure you select install Xbox 360 controller driver. I can't click that anyway because I'm on a new version and that is built in. So now if I click install, so as you can see, this says turn to player one and it's installed it. So once that progress bar is done, it is installed. If I open this up now, it's detected it. I should be able to use this and it's detecting all of the different things. So now we've done the hard bit. So if I close this down, you can leave it open, close it's your choice. And now we need to launch up RPCS3. So in here, launch that up. Go to pads. And then from here, it's not a DualShock 3, even though what we're using is a DualShock 3, it's being mapped as an X input, which is a Xbox controller. And there we go, it's been selected, and you can choose what pad you want to do it as. And as, hmm, strange. But the keys are not being detected in here. Still, let me make sure they still detected here still detected here so that's strange hmm. actually no it's been detected i don't know why it's not it's usually you know that gets detected there but for some reason it's not but if i go vibration it does detect it okay so that is fine and you can add a profile so you can customize the buttons if you want to click save because otherwise you will not get saved and now we can launch up again so i'm going to launch on minecraft and the reason i'm launching minecraft is not one of the other games it has green compatibility as you can see right there it is playable and it also works runs pretty well on my computer while i'm recording 
I'm not recording then, you know, quite a few games work pretty well. Otherwise, if I'm recording, I need something like a low-end game. But yeah, you're all good to go. The idea is, you know, ready to go now, ready to rock. Hmm, that's strange. Why this isn't? Let me just disconnect it and reconnect it. There it is plugged in. For some reason. So let me press the X. It is there. Back to pants. Hmm. Okay, that is strange. Seems I've picked it up as an MM joystick. No, I don't want that. I'll restore back to default. Again, not picked up in here, that's fine. Not getting picked up in here. Let's try MM joystick, but you know, that's strange. Quick save. Launch this up. Okay, so I think a few of the keys are a bit the wrong way around. Get into the game. Let's have a look. The controller needs to be clean. Okay, some of the things need <laughs> seems to be the wrong way. Go back to pads. Okay, that is strange. So we should just be able to map everything to be fair. So if we go to triangle. Yeah, let's just remap everything. Right analog stick is up. There we go. Okay, so it may just assign it automatically. For some reason, it's not detecting it as an X input, just M joystick. You know, again, you know, it is hit and miss. I find with the PlayStation 3 controller, it can be a bit dodgy. You seem to have mapped fantastically. So now let's map R1 and R2. Now let's map start, select. Okay, so the PlayStation button is going to let me map it. Okay, so if you need that, you'll have to use another button. And L1 and L2. And just L3 is just clicking in, and there we go. So we got the detection down here as well, which is cool. Click save, and let me. So there we go. So so we can mine, and there we go. So we got it all working now. 
So yeah, just a little bit of a mess up. Like I said, if you have another controller like an Xbox controller, that will work even better. PS4 controller, just plug and play as well, or you can use wireless, and it is all good to go. But if you really want to use a PS3 controller, here you go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message.